His name is Ethan. My child was born with a couple medical problems and he was in and out of the hospitals, actually all over Saskatchewan. Riley was diagnosed with a very rare condition called aplastic anemia. It put our whole entire family into a tailspin. I mean, this can happen at any time. This came out of the blue in one day for, for our family. It was five years later, we were still fighting cancer. Well, my oldest son had, had seizure disorder as well as uh, muscular dystrophy. Um, so we, we went to a lot of hospitals and, and uh, you know, unfortunately my son passed away in February. He took one look at Ethan and he was, I'm referring you to Edmonton. And because we weren't referred sooner, he now has permanent swallowing damage. Uh, I think it's fair to say we both uh, feel pretty passionate about the need for a children's hospital in Saskatchewan. It is a way by which uh, we can focus uh, a critical mass of individuals trained and skilled in the care of sick and injured uh, children. When I was involved in sport, I mean, it's not just a coach and an athlete. We had experts in all areas coming together and saying, we have this common goal, let's see how we can get there. It's the same situation here. All the infrastructure that's required to look after a child is very, very different than what an adult would need and expect. The colors on the walls, the lighting, the access to outdoor lighting is just so important. There are areas of our hospitals that are frankly scary. They're scary for me and they, I imagine they're scary for uh, children and their families. The current facility that we work in here at RUH is not designed for our family. We don't have the space to accommodate the growth that we tend to be seeing. We started sleeping on the floor and then we eventually moved to a couch sort of thing. My son missed his brothers. He missed his brothers. He spent four months in the hospital and he got 20 minutes to see his brothers every day. In pediatrics, looking after a child um, without the family is kind of like um, heading on a road trip that you've never been without the map. You know, they've got to travel to the province, first of all, they can't afford it. Second of all, maybe they can't leave work because they could lose their job. There's a big difference of traveling within Saskatchewan or having to travel to Toronto or Calgary or Winnipeg. Most of the parents that we've met in Edmonton have been from Saskatchewan. It costs like $2,000 a day just to stay in Edmonton's hospital that Saskatchewan is paying for. To have a place that can help somebody move their way through that transitional period of just really dealing with a, a sick kid is, is going to be awesome. Hi, I'm Brad Wall. The Children's Hospital of Saskatchewan will be your hospital. It's being built to benefit families and children across our province. And it's an investment in our children and our grandchildren and for the future of everyone in Saskatchewan. We are very pleased to actually hear at the legislature, we are getting $200 million for the building of the bricks and mortar from the provincial government, which means it's Saskatchewan's Children's Hospital. It also is a maternity care centre. It will involve the development of a unit that will provide modernized care to women requiring physician or midwife care. It's going to be one merged acute care pediatric um, super ward. And also, equally important, it becomes a focus and a center for research. Research, equipment, uh, the medical care services, patient care services, the family focus and environment, all of those things combined will equal a great deal of money. And the Dubé family were generous and kind in contributing their belief as well as their gift of $6.5 million. We have a responsibility to uh, do what's right. Uh, we're not doing it because we have to or we're told to do it because we want to do it and we love doing it. It's so exciting that you know Saskatchewan said okay this is definitely something we need and we're going to do it. We're going to see First Nations Métis people step up and be active participants showing that generosity contributing to a hospital. The fact is that there's going to be an ongoing need for money and because we made an initial contribution a leadership gift doesn't mean that we're not going to continue to support them. I've run for a number of years an investment firm. What we do with our philanthropic dollars 
is invest in the future, in education and in healthcare. Because we believe that if you establish that solid foundation, then all the other good things will just kind of happen automatically. It's uh, a home setting for the families that do come there for their children. And I think, uh, so I find that uh, the culture is very important in that. It, it's just a, a wonderful feeling to know that you're helping somebody even though you don't know who they are and they don't know who you are. But it's just a wonderful feeling knowing that you're, you are touching somebody. If we were to have a children's hospital in Saskatchewan, I think the environment, as soon as you walk in, would be all children's based. It would have educators everywhere. It would have toys. It would have games. To get away and be able to make phone calls, to get on the internet and email, pay bills, do those kind of things, um, that's all really important when you have a child in the hospital. And I think each room should have a TV in the wall so that, you know, kids can watch their favorite shows or they could play video games. The biggest moment will be when the hospital opens and you see your first patient in there and know that that person is going to get the best care. If you ever know somebody who has a sick kid and, uh, you know, needs this kind of facility, then you'll realize the importance of it. This is your neighbor. This is the kid down the street. And I want, I guess, the promise of Saskatchewan and the people of Saskatchewan to understand this is a worthy fight. These are our kids. Every gift is absolutely important. People are realizing that $10 counts. Even if your child has never had to use the facility, and we pray that we'll never have to use the facility, you can still make a difference. Saskatchewan's a wonderful place, but it needs to step up and it needs to take the next step in taking care of its children. I'm just so excited to be 80 years old looking back on telling my story to my grandchildren. I was a part of, of forging our future in healthcare. From my perspective, there's three things you can give to charity. One is your time, two is your money, and three is combining the first two in a way of showing leadership. It's just a wonderful thing, not only for us, but it's for, for the people of Saskatchewan. We do it to help others. We need your help. We need equipment. They deserve the best equipment. Together we can make this happen. And it's an investment. It's an investment in our future. We need you, our industry leaders, our community leaders, our high achievers, to push things to the next level. Together we can make this happen. I thank you in advance for your support for making history in Saskatchewan. The Children's Hospital of Saskatchewan is coming together. But we still need the pieces that will truly make it a children's hospital. You can be a part of the hope. A part of the caring. A part of something that means everything to the children who need it. Be a part of it. Please give at childrenshospitalsask.ca. This campaign proudly sponsored by Mosaic.